This question is asked us about a kite. It says, a kite of area 40 meters squared has one diagonal two meters longer than the other. Find the lengths of the diagonals. Okay, first of all, I have drawn a small sketch of a kite. A diagonal is the distance from one point, or one vertex, to its opposite vertex. One vertex to its opposite vertex. So, before we can start really get underway, we really need to know the, uh, the formula for the area of a kite. The formula is area equals half times one of the diagonals times the other diagonal. Okay, so we've got somewhere to start with now. It says this, one diagonal is two meters longer than the other. Okay, so if I call this diagonal x, and let's make this a smaller one. It says one diagonal is two meters longer than the other. So this one here, this diagonal here, must be two meters longer. So that makes, yeah, x plus two. Okay, let's, now let's see what we can do now. So the area, that's 40 meters squared, 40, is equal to half times one of the diagonals. That's x times the other diagonal. That's x plus two. Okay, now it's a question of basically trying to simplify it to see if we can get values of x. So first of all, the opposite of a half is times by two. So I'm going to times both sides by two to get rid of this half. So I use my red pen. Okay, times by two, times by two. 40 times by two is 80. And a half times two is cancelled out, so we're now left with x bracket x plus two. Okay, next step, let's try and get rid of those brackets. So 80 equals x times x is x squared. x times 2 is 2x. Okay, now, what can we do? Okay, if we have a look closely now, we need to get this, because we've got, we've got a quadratic equation. If we get it to 0, if we get it equal to 0, then we may be able to factorize it. So 0, let's minus 80 from both sides. Minus 80 minus 80. Let's have a look what we've got now. So 80 minus 80 is 0 equals x squared plus 2x minus 80. Okay, this is the stage when you need to think, okay, can I factorize it or do I need to use the quadratic formula? Okay, let's just check. Let's try a few values. Okay, 80. What makes 80? Two numbers that make 80. Sorry, two numbers that make minus 80 when you times them together, but when you add them, make plus 2. Okay, this usually takes quite a long time. Let's see, we'll... Okay, let's try 8 and 10. 8 and 10. Will we have to do it with 8 and 10? So, let's check. Well, how about if we try x plus 10? x minus 8. Let's check. Equals to 0. 10 times minus 8 is minus 80. 10 minus 8 is plus 2. Done it. Sorted. Okay, next step then is to put this, okay, if this is equal to zero, then this part here must be equal to zero, or this part must be equal to zero. So if x plus 10 equals zero, then x must equal minus 10. If x minus 8 equals zero, x minus 8 equals zero, then x must be equal 8. Okay, almost there then. So let's have a look. So we've got a solution for x equals minus 10. Okay, well, okay, let's have a, wait a minute, we're talking about distances here, we're talking about a diagonal. We can't possibly have a diagonal with a negative length. So this isn't correct, I say we can't use that value. Let's have a look at this one. It says x equals 8. Yes, it's a positive value, and it's referring to, let's have a look back into the situation, of this length being 8. So if that length is 8, then 8 plus 2 is 10. So the other diagonal must be 10. So the solution is one diagonal is 8 metres and the other diagonal is 10 metres. Remember, you need to remember units in your solution. So yep, the question is talking about metres squared in terms of the area and the length is talking about metres. So the two diagonals, one is 8 metres and the other is 10 metres and we've completed it.